Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 344, Hematology and Oncology Anatomy. What are erythrocytes? Erythrocytes are the red blood cells. The word erith means red and cyte means cell. So these are the red cells. What is the function of an erythrocyte? The function of erythrocyte is to carry oxygen to the tissue and carbon dioxide to the lungs. What are some characteristic features of erythrocytes? Erythrocytes are anucleate, which means they do not have a nucleus, and they are biconcave in shape. They also have a large surface area to volume ratio for rapid gas exchange. So that means that they are large in size, but uh, in terms of volume, they don't have that much because the surface area is large compared to the volume ratio and this allows for rapid gas exchange. What is the typical lifespan of an erythrocyte? The typical lifespan of an erythrocyte is 120 days. What is the source of energy in erythrocyte? Because erythrocytes do not have a mitochondria, they do not use any of the oxygen that it carries, but instead uses glucose as the source of energy. What does the membrane of an erythrocyte contain? The membrane of an erythrocyte contains the chloride bicarbonate antiporter and this is important to know because this allows the transport of carbon dioxide from the periphery to the lungs for elimination. But we will talk more about this in the respiratory chapter. What is erythrocytosis, also known as polycythemia? Erythrocytosis or polycythemia is the increase in production of erythrocyte. And in this, there is also that increase in the hematocrit. What is anisocytosis? Anisocytosis is the increase in production of red blood cells that vary in sizes. What is poikilocytosis? Poikilocytosis is the increased production of red blood cells that vary in shape. What is a reticulocyte? A reticulocyte is an immature erythrocyte and this is a marker for erythroid proliferation. And that just means that the body is actively making new red blood cells, which is generally a good indicator. So if the erythrocytes are dying and new reticulocytes are being made, this is a good sign. But if in case a lot of erythrocytes are dying and the reticulocyte count is normal, and this situation can be considered a sign of some sort of a problem with erythropoiesis. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com. Dot com.